everyone. His name is Juanito Ayaya Arturo Ayaya Garcia, baby! Better known as Contracts, coming on in and giving TSM the big fat D for Diana <laughs> as he crushed them along with the rest of Evil Geniuses in their win, toppling the number one team. How's it going, brother? How's it going, man? I'm doing good. Yeah, uh, I'm just... Uh, I'm just so proud. I mean, I think people kind of <laughs> remember, but they don't know, like... Uh, the first time we met was my first interview and then like down the road the first thing I did for Golden Guardians was pick you up from the cloud nine house and yep. you know it was like all this uncertainty and to see uh, how much you've grown over the last uh, couple years in Academy and find a spot I mean was there ever a moment where you, you were you were losing hope you're losing hope not maybe not in your ability but that you would get another shot yeah um I say there was two two moments in my career where I really felt kind of hopeless. Mm. Uh, my first one was after maybe even the middle. It was like either in the middle of Spring Split 2020 um, or after Spring Split 2020. But mm. um, that's my that was my first academy split. I was playing really bad. Uh, I had like no motivation. Um, I was just kind of in a bad place mentally. I wasn't really putting in a lot of effort. So. That was definitely one that I had to claw back out of, but I, I did claw back out of that one. Uh, and then I went on to 100 Thieves LCS in summer 2020, and that's when I really felt like I kind of rejuvenated myself um, mentally. Like I was really motivated. I was playing a lot of solo queue. I was participating in, in team, um, just everything team-wise, right? It felt it felt really good to play, and kind of that's where I like developed most as like I'd say not so much a leader, but you know, like a big voice on the team, right? I had a lot of, of my opinions that I was scared to kind of talk about before that I wasn't scared of anymore. Yeah. Um, the The second moment in my career was after 100 Thieves 2020. It was during that off season um, when I didn't get an LCS spot after what I thought like I performed really well, like definitely yeah. LCS caliber. And I was like really disappointed that I wasn't able to kind of, you know, come back into LCS, right? I was... I was definitely just disappointed. That I mean, that that's all I was. I was just disappointed, and it felt like I was losing hope, you know, because of my performances before. Um, but I mean, honestly, that translated into my spring split in the academy as well. I think we ended tenth place, but um, we were able to kind of regroup for proving grounds and get fourth. So that's when I felt like I re rejuvenated myself as well. And also the meta shifted too, so I was a lot more on conference champs. Yeah. So I felt really, really comfortable going into the academy split or uh, proving grounds tournament because we performed really well as well. Uh, I guess since Evil Genius is here, and, and obviously you know I'm critical of it because you know they, they Peter and the rest of the squad making the decision mm -hmm. to move on from our, uh, my boy definitely our boy definitely. But <laughs> how has that experience been uh, with this coaching staff to help you uh, continue to level up even at this point in your career? They definitely are very, very helpful. I have a, a personal jungle coach that helps with me a lot. I learned a lot of good habits from him. Uh, his name is Turtle. He played in um, the Brazilian League. Oh. I forget which team, but so he, he's really, really knowledgeable about the the game and helps me quite a bit. Um, and also, I think Peter Dunn is very, very knowledgeable about mid-game rotations. So that's something that I learned a lot from um, from him this mm -hmm. this year. Um, definitely helped my macro and just overall understanding of what I should be doing in mid game, um, and just he he just makes me kind of think about the waves more. Before I was kind of like I'm not really thinking about the waves. I'm only looking at like like the turrets, you know, like the dragon. But he really got me thinking about waves and how to use them and um, just overall stuff like that. So it was very very helpful for sure. So uh, focusing back in on today's game, everything. Almost everything went right, right? You were right spot, right mm -hmm. time. So pathing was good. You had a couple of highlight plays. You had a 1v3. You, <laughs> you got to punish. Like, talk me through what that was like. Like, it, the triumphant return. So many players get an opportunity to come back. You had a triumphant return. It, it's honestly kind of similar to last year when I came back, you know? Like, I, I took down the, the powerhouse of C9 that was in first place, so... Maybe, maybe I'm just the first place killer. Maybe maybe they should just sub me in more when they're <laughs> the top teams. But 
Yeah, I mean, it just feel, it feels great. You know, it feels really good to come back LCS after two years and or not two years, maybe like a year, year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, actually, no, one year. After one year and just you know, you just we I just struggled my whole my whole career, not whole career, but you know the lap, the past couple of years of my career. So it just feels really amazing to to come back and really put on uh, put on a performance. Moving forward uh, with this squad specifically, I assume there's going to be like a six-man roster type thing. What's your mentality for the jungle position between you and Svenskeren that obviously have history in terms of replacing each other as he was the one that replaced you over at Cloud9 <laughs> before you joined Golden Guardians in 2018 with us? Mm -hmm. I think we both are very supportive of like having each other play. Obviously, it's not as like bread and butter, like or like not bread and butter, but like, you know, it's a competitive game, right? People want to start over people, uh, but I think I'm just like, even if I'm not playing, I'm gonna be supportive of the team, right? I'm gonna hope they hope they do well, and you know, I'm just gonna keep playing my game. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep playing with some league. I will. I have to give a ton of credit to Peter because uh, we've seen so many substitutions go in this year, and his <laughs> messaging on how this one was being used was the best one out of any of these swaps that we've had, whether it's like throwing players under the bus or not saying anything at all. And so I think mm -hmm. him kind of positioning your move is it was pretty great, and uh, that brings me to one of the moves with a contemporary of yours, someone that's been in the league for a while, someone that's bounced around with teams and Dardock. That move. What did you make of it? Um, I mean, I don't really know anything about it too much. Um, he did something the org didn't like it, right? Um, I still think he's a good player, right? He's mm. gonna find a team somewhere, um, and he's just gonna play some league. I mean, it's just a kind of bad situation overall. But you know, I'm excited that Acadian is getting another shot. I think Acadian deserves it. He's been in, he's been in like the same shoes that I've been, right? Yeah. He's been in the academy for a while, so excited for him to, to keep playing. What's the next steps for you, homie? I know you keep saying, like, hey, I'm just going to play some league. They tell me in, I'm in. <laughs> but, like, uh, you know, like you were able to level up when you were down in academy with all this motivation. Now you've got this payoff. What's next? Keep striving for the top. I mean, that's all I can do, right? I just got to keep, keep on grinding, keep on improving as a player, as a person, and play some league. <laughs> If anyone sees this interview and also is an artist making an anime little uh, uh, like outline of Juan right there that says keep striving for the top and then post that to me, I will I will make it my profile picture moving forward <laughs> here. Juan, it's always a pleasure. I'm so proud of you, man. I, I wish thank you nothing you. but the best, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I'll catch you.